Climate change is one of the most complex phenomena of our time. Some of the major drivers of climate change are economic activities closely tied to the livelihood of many communities. Dairy farming is the single largest subsector of agriculture in Kenya, accounting for 6 to 8 percent of the country's gross domestic product. It is a source of livelihood for many families across Kenya. However, livestock production contributes significantly to global greenhouse gas emissions. Livestock are closely tied to climate change as a phenomena because they, uh, the rumen digestion emits methane, uh, which is one of the drivers of climate change. Um, manure management also emits nitrous oxide and other greenhouse gases. So it's been a, increasingly a point of interest for um, interventions that can reduce the drivers of climate change, so reduce the amount of methane and nitrous oxide and other greenhouse gases that come uh, through livestock production. 88% of the world's youth live in developing countries. In Kenya, the national youth policy emphasizes the potential of the agricultural sector as a source of employment. The dairy subsector, while not mentioned, is a current source of employment and as such, better understanding of how young women and men engage in the sector and how the sector can support employment is needed. At the International Livestock Research Institute campus in Nairobi, a study was started to understand the current and emerging ways that youth participate in the dairy subsector. Usually, young women and men's opportunities in agriculture are influenced by the locations they live in, that include social and cultural norms. This study's objectives was to understand how location, living in a rural or peri-urban location and social norms influence a young woman or man's potential in dairy value chains. The study took place in rural sub-counties in Nakuru County and peri-urban sub-counties in Kiambu County. The dairy sector has, uh, has gotten some attention because it's fairly well organized. There's a lot of movement already toward uh, uh, increasingly efficient practices that will reduce greenhouse gas emissions while improving productivity. Um, so we're really looking for that kind of the sweet spot that productivity and profitability increase uh, that also reduce emission intensities. My research and the, the, the team that I'm leading is researching the, the social implications for low emission dairy practices. Um, who picks up the labor, who picks up the, um, the benefits, how are decisions made, how do they reorganize the households and the sector in general. We are especially concerned about youth because youth unemployment is quite high in Kenya and there are many youth in dairy, many young women and men in dairy. So we think it will be very important that certain policies that are coming forward with a lot of support for dairy or increasing dairy and especially intensification of dairy will consider young women and men in both rural and peri-urban locations. Kiambu and Nakuru counties were chosen because of their current dairy production, with Kiambu being more intensified and for their potential for increased dairy production as Nakuru is an area where the dairy subsector is still growing. The two counties also offered an opportunity for comparison, especially given Kiambu's proximity to the capital, Nairobi. We say youth, they're not all the same. Uh, we, we can say men and women, but they're not all the same. Uh, so, so their geography, their, their uh, cultural history, their economic history of their regions, the, the physical geography of their counties, these are all factors that, um, that contribute to differences in opportunities uh, that, they, that they have. And so we're really trying to pull out some of those details. Um, the reason we want to do that is because we feel like there's often a tendency to create one-size-fits-all sort of solutions. The dairy sector is just kind of one place. Um, but when you start to look closely, you don't have to go very far to find out that that's not true. And appreciating those 
differences and that variability, I think, is important in making planning that works for more people. So, so it's, it's, it's data that's in service of inclusivity uh, in policy planning and intervention and uh, investment planning. Youth really participate in dairy in very different ways in different places. So young women and men's experiences are often unique depending on whether they're from Kiambu County or from Nakuru County. So paying attention to rural development goals and social equity goals as alongside the environmental goals and climate action goals uh, will be essential for this, uh, for low emission dairy development to succeed in a way that's both environmentally beneficial uh, and socially and economically beneficial to uh, rural societies as well. Therefore, Additional research into understanding the social implications of daily intensification and the potential for youth employment in agriculture will address the critical needs to lower youth unemployment and greenhouse gas emissions.